where 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 uh where your dad from? He's from Texas? Yeah. But what I, nationality I, I, I got, is I got he? Family that, that's from uh, originally from Mexico, though. Right. So you may be from the tribe of Issachar. I see yes, it. For those but... brothers that don't know their fathers, that don't know their nationality, the Bible says, keep the commandments. Right. My right. sheep right. hear my voice. Wake them up. Their spirit is going to bear witness Wake because they're going to keep the commandments of God. Right. 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 They're going to keep the commandments. So whether or not you're from the tribe of Issachar, Ephraim, Judah, Gad, if you don't keep the commandments, it don't mean nothing. Right. It don't mean nothing. You just wasted your inheritance. Right. So y'all got to keep the commandments. That's what right. questions y'all got? Where's the school? Y'all I mean, up there all, every day of the week? We, we, yeah, for the for the regulars, right? The members, we there during the week. Yeah. And we're doing classes. Uh, we, like we got the new moon coming up in what, two Monday. days? Monday. Yeah, on Monday. Uh, so, you know, we're there during the week, but our, our Sabbath service is on the Sabbath day, which is today, yeah. every Saturday. So what, for you that you're new, come by, be there like around one or two o'clock, right? What is it? One or two o'clock? Two o'clock. Two o'clock. Two o'clock. You can show up at 1.30, get there early so we can brief you up. Uh, Sabbath today. Y'all can, can pull up at 1.30, we can brief y'all, give y'all the whole rundown on how we operate. Y'all, yeah, come check out the sanctuary and keep the Sabbath day because it's commanded. Right. Oh, right, right. I know in our minds, we're like, you know what? I might come by. Like, yo, hold up. But God told you, you have to be there. Right. Get Lord. that Leviticus uh, 23. And Bring verse it out. Command Man, Leviticus chapter The Bible is not optional. Right. God is giving us commandments. That's right. right. But because we ain't got no fear, we look at it like, I might do it. I might think about it. Right. We hey. can't be moving like there's no fear for our, for our Heavenly Father. That's right. 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 But yet we think when we die, we'll be in front of him. We're gonna be scared. We're gonna be, we ain't we ain't gonna be able to stand up in his presence. We feel like he's gonna forgive us. No. Up. You gotta have you gotta show that fear now. Right. Read. Leviticus chapter 23, verse 2. Bring it up. Speak unto the children of Israel. Who are the children of Israel? Yeah. Who are the children of Israel? Yeah. That's right. That's Who right. are the children of Israel? Yeah. Who are the children of Israel? We are. I, I, where's that? Everyone's a chip. Where's that in the Bible? It's all Israelites, people who come from Israel. No. Yeah. That's not that's not biblical. I also where's want to ask you a question. Where, okay, go ahead, ask your question. This is where you People have agendas and so are the people who've written the Bible. How do we know I it's not? How do you know that the people who wrote the Bible didn't write it as their agenda? As their agenda? Yeah. Okay. They said thou shalt not kill. Is that not a good agenda? You shouldn't kill nobody? Yeah. Thou shalt not steal. Isn't that a good agenda? Right? Thou shalt not hate thy brother there, in thy heart. Isn't that a good agenda? I mean, yes. are we really going against the laws that's going to help us build us? As, as, everything that they're not doing in the Bible to blacks and Hispanics is what's getting them killed, right, raped, right. robbed, and murdered right. today. Right. So shouldn't they do what those people, right. what the agenda was? That's right. Shouldn't they do what the agenda is? What, what's everything else? What else? Everything else in the Bible, it contradicts itself. Like what? You gotta give me an example. Okay, uh, one of the biggest ones that I have an argument with about going my mom with is the uh, Sodom and Gomorrah. What about it? It's all, it says it's all about uh, because of gays and people. It's all about evil though. That's what the Bible says. It's got nothing to do with it. It says it's that about God evil. destroyed that city because right. of the sodomites right. and all the all the all the homosexuality that was right. that, that's, right. that's right. what the Bible says. Right. Get that. Leviticus 18. Let's read what the Bible Bring says. Bring it out. Because Leviticus chapter 18 and verse 22. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let her hear the scripture. Read. Leviticus chapter 18 verse 22. Bring, Bring it out. Thou shalt not lie with mankind. As with woman God. There you go, homosexuality, read. It is abomination. God calls that an abomination. So you can't be gay, you can't be lesbian, you can't be queer, you can't be transgender. That's what the Bible says. That's right. He brought in the angel, huh? he brought in the angel, and they wanted to rape the angel. But it was all because they wanted to harm that angel and they wanted to harm the purity. Where's that? It has nothing to Where's do that? with it. Do you believe in the Bible? Not really. So why no. did you stop here right now? Because why are I'm you curious here? about what you're saying. What we're saying is our people need the commandments of God. They don't, right. need, they don't need the other nations. Right. We don't need to vote, march, protest. Right. Think about it. Chinatown, do they let us open up stores in their neighborhood? Right. So why are we allowing the other nations to open up stores in Break our neighborhood? Up. Right. Break it out. The Jewish communities, do they allow us to open up stores in their neighborhood right. and businesses? 
No. So why do we allow them to do so? Wait, no. No. If there's if there's equality, why is there only one percent of blacks billionaires? Wait, no. No. All right, that's and that's what we're angry at. That's right. Ecclesiastes seven and seven. Bring it out. We're mad because we're giving a false sense of truth, but we're being lied to. Right. That's right. Read what you got. Ecclesiastes chapter seven by seven. Bring it out. out. Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad. Oppression will make a wise man a smart man, intelligent. But you know what? People that are comfortable. They not gonna be mad. That's they're right. not. They're gonna continue in their sin, and they gonna be happy right. to make it rain. Right. They gonna be happy to go to the club. Right. Right. They gonna be happy to continue to be niggas and spicks. Right. Right. But oppression, when somebody can see the bull, the BS, when somebody can see the lies, they're gonna get upset. Right. Right. They're gonna break the cycle. Right. They're gonna do something about it. Right. And that's the problem. We're the last hired, first fired. Right. We're destroyed. We're in the biggest ghettos, projects. We have the biggest cemeteries. Right, right. And what are you? What's your nationality? I don't know, honestly. You don't know? Okay. I don't know. And that, I'm... Hey, that's on you. You better keep the commandments. You better to everybody. The end of all this course is keep the commandments, that's right. which you're not doing right now. That's right. Because you're, you're, you're moving like you're a man and you're not. Right. Get that Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Right. Right. Chapter 22, verse 5. The she, woman. Hey, she know her nationality. Notice, she's just telling us she don't know. But I know she put it on the application. Read what you got. Bring it out, The teacher. woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. What did that just say, King? That the woman ain't supposed to what? Read it again for him. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. What is that? What did your grandmothers wear? I don't know. Yeah, your grandmothers. Bring it out. Google it. Google it. Stop lying. Google it. You know what our foremothers wore. Dresses. Right. They wore dresses prior to the 1960s. Right. Because they were in order. Because they feared God. Because they were modest. They wasn't showing their cleavage. They wasn't showing their behind. They were royalty. Now we moving like hoes. And, that, and you mad that we speaking against that? Because we want our sisters to cover up? Right. You mad at us for Wake that? Up, because we want our sisters to Wake be princesses? Right. right. I'm not mad. I'm just curious as to what y'all have to say about it. Princesses. When the last time you saw a princess with pants on? Right. Bring it out! We Good need question. to go back to royalty. You know what Israel means? A prince that has power with God. Right. So what does that make our daughters? Princesses. Right. So what should they be wearing as the princesses Bring that they out. are? But yet we're public enemy number one. But yet people are curious with our message. Nobody's curious with the drug dealer. Right. Right. Nobody tells him to shut down and stop uh, defiling and decaying his community. That's right. Right. Nobody's, nobody's going to the prostitute and telling her, stop hoeing out your body. Right. Right. Stop defiling your temple. Right. Nobody's doing that. But when we come up and we say, you are the greatest man walking this earth. Right. Right. Christ is a black man in the Bible. Right. All of a sudden, everybody hates our guts. That's right. Right. You're comfortable with who you are, correct? According to the Bible. Right. We you're, are the real Jews. You're comfortable with who you are. We are the real Jews so according to the Bible. Right. Why does why does other people's opinions bother you? It doesn't bother me. That's why I'm taking your questions. I like your questions. If it bothered me, I'd ignore you. Fair Bring enough. Them Bring them up. Enough. It's not and about it, dismissing. It's about enlightening. Listen, listen. Yeah. Do not, do not, uh, do not misconstrue or misunderstand our passion for anger right. towards you. We don't have look. We ain't got no problem with the white man. Right. We're at peace with him. Right. We ain't got no problem with the Arabs. We ain't got no problem with the Chinese. Right. Give me that in Romans chapter 12. Bring it out! But I ain't friends with them because, right. because they a Chinese man ain't never invite me to his house. Right. right. A Arab man ain't never invite me to his house. Right. right. A East Indian man ain't never invite me to his house. Right. right. But nobody calls them racist. Right. Right. Why am I racist now? Right. Why are we racist? Wake right. up. When we don't want to be friendly with everybody that hates our guts. Right. I don't get it. I know they hate my guts, but I'm going to be at peace with them. Read what you got. Romans chapter 12, verse 18. Read it out. If it be possible. If it be possible, because we don't we done been through this, man. This is what this is what the Caucasians did. Known as Esau Edom in the Bible. That's right. right. This is what the Arabs did to us in the sub-Saharan uh, slave trade. This is what the Asians did to, the, to us blacks and Hispanics during the Tang Dynasty right. when we built the Great Wall of China, right. when we built the pyramids. Right. That was all us. Right. Read. If it be possible.
But if it be possible, as much as light in you, as angry as you are over everything that they done did to us, live peaceably with all men. I'm not. I'm, I'm not in there saying death, death and destruction to all nations. I'm not saying that. Christ is, right. but not me. Right. Did you know that? Did you know Christ said that? That's why I don't know. That wisdom of Solomon 18, verse 7. Christ is. Christ is saying. Why would, now, why would Christ say that? Why would Christ say he's coming back to kill? Because of everything the other nations did to his chosen people. Read what you got. Wisdom of Solomon chapter 18 and verse 7. Come on. Yeah. So of thy people was accepted. So our people, we accepted what? Both the salvation of the righteous. The salvation of our people, because we're the ones that need salvation. That's right. Not the other nations. That's right. Read. Right. And destruction. Of the enemy. There yes, you go. Yes, sir. That's the real gospel. Yes, That's the gospel. Right. That's what churches ain't bringing out. They're not opening the book to that to that verse. Right. Right. Because they're they're keeping us astray from the truth. Right. Right. That Christ is coming back to kill the other nations. Right. Right. And we can prove it. Right. Do you know why I don't go to church? Is because people have agendas. And this is stuff here. Is, the way you're talking about it, that, uh -huh. they don't talk about that stuff. That's right. Okay. They don't talk about any of this. That's mm -hmm. why when I read Churches my Bible, I yes. You just say you I don't get, believe in the Bible. Though. I have read the Bible, but okay. I read it at home. You know you can't understand it if you don't keep the laws, right? You're right. This is the spirit. You can't read this book like you do a uh, National Geographic book. Everyone you gotta apply the commandments in order to be spiritual to right. get the true yes, understanding right. of it. Right. If you don't keep the commandments, you're not going to understand this book. You think right. that's a regular book? This ain't no regular book. Right. Get that Psalms 111 and 10. Bring it out. Psalms chapter 111 and verse 10. Bring Bring it out. Out. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. What's wisdom? Intelligence. And you got to fear God if you're intelligent. Right. Meaning you would put a dress on if you feared God. Right. That's but right. if you're not intelligent, you're not going to put a dress on. That's right. Read. A good understanding. A what? A good understanding. I can read this Bible front to back 20 million times. If I don't do this next part, a, it, oh, go sorry. ahead. A good understanding have all they that do his commandments. There right. you go. So we understand why you don't understand the Bible. Right. Right. We understand why you don't understand. Right. Because you don't keep the commandments. Right. So you don't have a good understanding. Right. Right. Because you don't fear God. Right. Right. So therefore that you lack wisdom. Right. right. So what should you do? Keep the commandments of God. Right. That's what you should do, sis. Keep the commandments. Cover your head when you read the book. Right. You understand? Wear a dress. Put fringes on. Right. Put on modest apparel. Right. Don't show your cleavage. That's right. Teach the same thing to your daughters. To be princesses. Right. You understand? That's what we got to do. Keep the commandments of God. That's right. Right. Make, make my way. What you got me crazy. Coming through? You gotta come by the school, man. Your, your, your heart, your, your, your soul, your life depends on it. That's right. All right. That's right. This is a matter of life and death, the decisions we're making right now. Keep the commandments, okay? And get salvation from the most high God, the most high God. Nation is men leading by example. Family.